So this is my trailer hitch camp box, which I designed to go camping with. It's been to Alaska and back, and this is the second version. Um, the tarp is just held on with some uh, rubber bands uh, made out of uh, car tire. And the back has the license plate fastened to it so they can see it. And we've got some tables and chairs and a little wood stove made out of a propane bottle, 10 pound propane bottle, which I made. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's uh, got straps that give it some extra strength. And uh, I welded up the frame for it and put the plywood box on it. Uh, there's firewood and a table. And it works fairly well. I'm quite pleased with it actually. I would, the only thing I would suggest is if you uh, were worried about the tail lights not being seen, you could add some trailer, trailer lights to it. Um, with this uh, Toyota Vibe, I've got a, uh, a light in the window for my brake lights, so they're they're seen, and I'm narrow enough that you can see the signal lights. One thing I'd say about a wood stove is don't put it in there with any wood coals left in it. It can they can glow and catch fire, so you want to make sure it's clean and empty. This is a great little wood stove. It's uh, got a nice big top on it now. There's clips that fit in and hold the uh, legs in place. Um, in this video, I didn't put them all in and they fell out, but uh, they hold. Uh, There's just a piece of wire that goes through a hole in the leg and through the support in the bottom of the stove. What else? Uh, cook the stove works great. Cooks uh, anything you want. Heats water. Um, we carry some little blocks of wood in that wood box inside there, which uh, gives us enough to last for a few days, and then we gather some more firewood somewhere else. And right there is where I should have put the, the clips on the legs, but never mind. So all in all, I've been very pleased with it, and it's worked very well. It only takes a few minutes to set up. We have an umbrella, like a large beach umbrella, um, or picnic table umbrella that I put on the roof and it fits into those ABS um, black plastic pipes that are strapped on the side so they can be put put in quickly for shade or a little bit of rain cover. Um, eventually that plate will have some hooks welded onto it so we can hold up the cups and things. But there it is, my trailer hitch camp box, version 2, and I'm sure there'll be another version. In the top section, uh, it opens up and we have our pots and pans, and there's an extra propane stove up there. In case you don't want to fire up the wood stove. Um, there's a tarp in there. And there's a, that's a nice height for sitting at, actually, if you want to use the, the camp chairs and sit at that height there. It works real well. The other two levels are good for, for cutting up things and you know, just standing and operating the, around the camp. But it gives quite a bit of room. There's cups and you know, dishes and cutlery. I put a little uh, magnetic bar there that holds the knives, if, you know, to let them dry out. Now it works pretty good. And there's a few other little places where things get stuffed in, like a brush underneath. And, uh, you know, that works quite well.
This video was brought to you by Cove View Accommodations, one and two bedroom suites located in Deep Cove, North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada.